the reason I don't work with like restaurants and pizza shops and those things is like, you know how many plates of food they need to sell to make back that $4,000? It doesn't make sense. Now you go to like a flooring company, an AC company, somebody watches that video, a new AC is over $2,000. Be like, yo, so you tell me that two people see this video this month and you get two new clients, you made your money back. On top of that, we're getting all this analytics, finding out more about who your potential next client is. Now, on top of the video, I also have data to present to you so we can start helping better marketing decisions. Start talking to them as a business owner. Like the video production is only a tool for you making that bag. Not in my garage anymore. I saw that. I was like, uh, you switched it up. I got my own office now, bro. No this longer. Actually, what up, Andrew? Pleasure to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you too, man. So, no, no longer in the basement, right, bro? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Headed to the top floor. That's all good. So what's happening, bro? Um, well, um, the reason for this call is mainly because um, so we can get clients. We can get clients. We have no issue getting clients. It's just we're trying to move up another level, and we want to start selling, like, $4,000 packages, and we want – like three month, four thousand dollar packages, ten clients. Um, that's my goal by December. Wait, say that again. So you want a three month, four thousand dollar client? Yeah, it's like so a three month contract. Okay. Yeah, three month contract, four thousand dollars each month, and I want ten ten of those clients. Okay. That's the goal. And um, we tried doing walk ins. We tried all that. You know, we we went back to my roots where I started. It just didn't feel right. I felt like mm, we're wasting our time. I felt like it was a more effective way in getting some people. And then I remembered how um, you do your emails. And I'm like, dude, that has to be probably the best way. Because I was watching other videos also. And I'm like, they say cold emailing is probably the best because you're not bothering them, you know? I'm not leaving your house. I'm not leaving the house, not wasting gas, you know, time. Mm -hmm. Especially us who live by LA. So heading down the hill, dude, it takes like three, four hours of our time of the whole sure. day. Yeah. Well, you're Southern California, right? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like up to Cajon. You probably don't know where that's at, but I'm like, like LA's like here and then yeah, we're yeah, like yeah. pathways out of it and we're in the bottom pathway. So, so cool. Gotcha. Yeah. I got to, I'm flying out to a Redwood City for a client to shoot there for like a day. How's my audio, by the way? Your audio sounds good. Do, All do right, you cool. want us to try to plug this in? So nah, good. you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right. Sure. Okay, so you're gonna move up. You're gonna do four thousand dollar monthly retainers, three months with the clients for ten clients. Uh, what does a four thousand dollar engagement look like for you? Like what we offer with that, or yeah, like what do you get? What's it like? What is a four thousand dollar package? So with the four thousand, it's better to build a business. So it would be it would be help them build a business. So it'd be two videos a month with um, Instagram ads ran social media ran and i think that's it so you're gonna so you're gonna do the video and you're yeah. gonna do the advertisement for the video yeah they so in that four thousand five hundred that is included for so advertising so it's forty five hundred now well it's four thousand it's just tied in so it's thirty five okay gotcha you know what i mean yeah <clears throat> so you get so you get five hundred dollar ad spend and then you get production is 3500 bucks, which you get two videos for that month. And run ads. Two videos. And do the posting, and I think that's about it. What are you going to post? Like po posting the video, because mm -hmm. I know some clients, they don't want to even, in, in, they don't even want to deal with any of that. So yeah. we'll, do, we'll handle that. And we'll run, we'll run the ads on our accounts, too, you know. Okay. We don't need to get their information or anything. What do you mean by that? Like their cards, you know, I don't, we don't get their card information. It's like we just, I just become an ads manager mm -hmm. and run it through my credit card. You okay. Know, payment. So that way it's not it's, a lot of. That's a good and dangerous thing to do. Oh, why is that? Well, it's good because with spending that money, I don't know what, what kind of credit card you have. Um, It's like a, it's like a, a discover one. Okay. Yeah, so like with me, like how I travel and do all the shit that I do, I use my credit card for points. And every dollar, especially in advertisement, a lot of credit card to give you three to four times your money value in points. So then you can use that to buy gear. I use it to go traveling. Um, I know that. 
Yeah, and then depending on what kind of credit card you have, there's also limits. The bad side of this is, you know, you have to keep in mind what happens when a client doesn't pay you that month and you just put all this in your credit card. Gotcha. So that's why I always make sure they hand it first, you know. All right, so I mean that's so that's why you know charge them up front, and then yeah. um, you know you so like as long as you have that was my biggest thing is getting concerned of like somebody's like yo I'm not paying this month and you just drop the money as long as you're getting paid up front, yeah. um, then that's good. Okay. okay, so these two videos, how long are these videos? I'm just uh, right now I'm asking these questions yeah. to help you guys get clarity on gotcha. when you're talking to a client because I want to know this myself, right? So you're right, you're right, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, most of these videos are basically advertising for Facebook and Instagram. So they're not going to be longer in a minute. Okay. They're going to be high quality, you know, the audio, the lighting, storyboards, we're going to prepare, we're going to make sure everything's good. Um, go with it with the team, make sure the idea is good. You know, drones, all that, you know, um, okay. the 3D logos, all that, the tracking, all that. Gotcha. Basically to entice to get more customers, you know? Yeah. So this is just from what I've been learning and stuff I've been experimenting with Mo. Let me know. You're better off doing a one minute video mm -hmm. as your main anchor video in a sense. Let's say you're you're talking to what's your client or like who's your ideal client right now? Right now it's it's a, a local landscaping company. Perfect. Okay, so let's leave it there. Landscaping company. You have a one minute video that leads them that's on their website. Um that's like, hey, you just saw one of our ads, you're probably looking to get your lawn or whatever it is fixed up. Mm -hmm. We're running a special in your Southern California area. Give us a call to come out and do a free whatever mm. versus you giving them two videos, two one minute videos, make micro content of those other videos and run those as six second ads and 15 second ads. That's so funny. Cause I was thinking that I feel like two big videos, like one big video will help a lot, but when you follow it up with another big one, it can kind of, it's not going to get the same effect as one it's, bit. And it's not, and you're, and you're running a social media ad. So for you to run a one minute ad, the, the watch ratio on that's not going to be great. Now a six second ad or a 15 second ad, when you do the retargeting stuff with uh, oh. Facebook of like target people to watch 50% of this video or, you know, a hundred percent of this video, when you retarget, what I'll do is run a six second ad for views retarget everyone that watched 50% or more of that, hit them with the 15 second ad. The 15 second ad has an offer. Mm. That offer is going to send them to their website, which has your one minute video, whatever you want to call it, your anchor video to get okay. them to sign up a form or create some type of a lead form generation. This to me is going to be the best when I like from me as a business owner looking at this at $4,000 a month, you're talking about lead generation. You're no longer talking about video production. And just from, you know, mm. the business owner's standpoint, honestly, I don't care if you use drones. I don't care about the graphics at the end. I care about is my phone ringing now more than it did before I started putting this money. Um, exactly. So with that being said, have you ever done something like this before? No, but I know I'm capable of it. I know we can handle that. I would recommend you do a case study first. First. work with somebody that you know be like hey i'm gonna do be like hey i'm gonna do this thing i'm gonna charge clients four thousand dollars a month i'm gonna do it for you for two grand mm -hmm. i've done this in the past but we're trying out this new thing i don't know if you're interested in it i'm gonna give it to you half price if it works out i'll love to get a testimonial from you for what we're doing and then as another incentive i'll give you three months at the discounted rate for two grand and after that goes up to four Damn, this guy's a fucking genius, bro. Sorry, I didn't mean to cuss, man. Damn, man, that's that's because that's not like a do to me. If I was a business owner, you can't you know, be like that. Yeah. I'd be like, wow, let's do it right now. Because here's the thing: when you do that first run, there's a lot of shit that you're gonna end up finding out that you mm -hmm. probably didn't think about. Okay. This is also gonna give you an idea of how many leads or phone calls you're generating for this person. So now, when you talk to the the next person, you're like, yo. We worked with John's landscaping. We ran these series of videos for him for four months. We generated over a hundred new calls for him per month. And that pretty much was over $50,000 of business for him. Oh, wow. Whatever number it is. I'm just throwing out numbers. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, no. We Way love weird. to do something similar to that, like that for you. Cause like I said, the minute that you stop talking about videos and you start talking about results and you start talking about profits and revenues, 
That's what's important to your clients. That's all that they care about. I'm sorry. So like that would be like the thing that I would tell you to do first is get one under your belt, learn the shit that, and then you, you might find out like, yo, 4,000 is not enough. We might have to charge and, and, five. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting to. I feel like, well, well, I need to learn how to do it first. I know I can do it, but let me get it. I have someone in Monterey that I can probably already test it on. Mm-hmm. Um, I might, do, I might do, I might do one big one. We have the big one working on the video right now. The big one. Mm-hmm. We'll do this. We'll do a, a quick micro ones. And I think I'm going to send them to a landing page where they can fill out their contact information and maybe their budget um, for like the ceramic coating on their car, you know? Yeah. So he can see the, cause what, what they want, it's hard for them to track the results. That's why they're kind of iffy about it. What do you mean um, it's hard for them to track the results? Cause a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of times when I run ads for businesses, um, I ask them how to go. They're like, I don't know. I'm like, are you getting more foot traffic? They're like, yeah, but I don't know if it's from there. I'm like, are you asking them? Oh, I don't have time. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I need so, to find a better solution. Yeah. So in those scenarios, the best way to do it is normally like when we've done it in the past, it's either the ways to do it. There's a lot of different ways. One of them is you set up like a fake line where like using an app where you run that phone number as the ad. So every time the phone rings, they could track that direct phone call from that phone ringing. Other way to do it is an offer. Hey, mention, you know, Facebook 15 to get 15% off your next purchase. So every time somebody mentions Facebook 15, okay, that came from the ad that he was running. The only other way to do it is if they're filling out some kind of form to, or getting leads, you need to have access to that data because there's for you to just rely on them to tell you it's not a great system. You know what I mean? But if you're able to look at it, cause here's the thing, doing what you're going to do a better job of running those ads is to be able to measure how well they're working. If you can't tell if you're running, like with the coffee people, they gave me access to everything because it's like, I can't run an ad and not see how it's performing and I have to track back with you and like a month later to find out if it worked or not. No, I need to know what's happening every single week. If the ads are not running good. I'm going to switch something up. Gotcha. Uh, so that's something that, you know, and if they're not ready to be that transparent with you, uh, it's probably not a great business to work with. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, as for, what, what landing pages do you uh, recommend like creating like a trackable, like contact fill out form? Do you know there- many? Honestly, the best one, like if you're going to learn anything new right now, to be honest with you, dude, it needs to be ClickFunnels. If I was going to learn, if I was to stop doing what I'm doing today right now, I'd probably invest time into learning ClickFunnels. There's a reason that every successful business out there that's selling some type of course online or something like that Mm -hmm. does ClickFunnels. Um, But you could just use, you know, I don't know what website they're using, but you could upload a lot of different forms. You could do a form from freaking like MailChimp or whatever form that, you know, system that you can add. For me, I just use my own forms that I have. But like with my clients, we're very transparent on like the back end of their like websites that I could see what's coming in or I'm getting an email notification every time a form gets filled out on their website. So you could just create a separate landing page on their website that has that form on there. So it does land on that page. It, it's getting filled out by that form. It doesn't affect any other form on their website. Gotcha. You think there's a way like for a landing page, you know, when they fill it out, it sends the person an email, right? I'm guessing you can attach like two emails to that, right? That contact yeah. information. That way it goes to me and them, you know? Exactly. Both. Okay. Yeah. So I'll probably do that. But I have a couple questions here. Yep. I want to ask you. But is in regards of that email, the way you go about getting your clients, or um, I don't know if it's the way you do it. How do you get the emails from um, the clients? Do you see them on the website, on the the, the about us section, or so I'll use. Uh, I'll go to their website uh, to see what they're doing. There's another uh, website. I think it's called Hunter. Io. It's a paid service. Pretty much what it does, you could type in, um, let me share my screen. Da, 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 da. Share screen. So this one here, you could type in the uh, website and then from there, it will give you like uh, matches no. for, mm-hmm. let me see, um, taskastudios.com. 
So right now, see, like it gave me, you know, possible matches for what it is, which that one is mine. It's Rodrigo at Tasca Studios. And then there's also info. So this is a way to do it. Um, that you retract so the but then the other way to do this is like if i was looking for a business owner so let's do like um landscaper landscapers scaping west palm beach so like when you're doing the emails o'hara so let me go what now website go back um reviews I guess making this complicated on me. Uh, okay, reviews. Landscaping back, former. So like here's like so right. I already know Yuri's a manager. So like that's a good person. So like I'll literally spend time reading the reviews to find out. Okay, who's a person on here? Because if it is like a business owner, their name is normally gonna come up here. You know what I mean? So that's so now I know if I'm gonna email them. The last thing I want to do is be like. Hey, to who this may concern or versus be like, yo, Yuri, so you guys are, you know, got a lot of great reviews. You just want to reach out. Uh, my name is Drigo. I help businesses very similar to yours generate leads through a uh, paid advertisement. Okay, cool. So we got that established. Um, so I'll Any do that. Tip? I mean, other stuff that I did, like right now, when I'm going to get like flyers in the mail from like local businesses, I literally yeah. sit here, I'll go to the... Like, so right now, both of these businesses near me are running these pamphlets. They don't have a video. Mm. So I'm be like, hey, I see you're spending, you know, so a lot of money. I'm getting these every week for, um, for your advertisement. I see you guys don't have a video. Um, you know, we'd love to find out what else you guys are doing for marketing. If there's anything I can help you guys with. Okay. If you're sending people like traffic to your website, like I want to look at their landing page. What's their process? Like, what is it that they, they, that they could optimize and how can video help them do that? And I'll show them like, Hey, here's a video I've done for these other businesses similar to yours. These are the kind of results that they got. As far as, um, uh, do you have a question? No. As far as like how you record it, do you have like a, a simple process where you record yourself? Like, um, do you, um, is it like a super fast way to do it or exactly the same way that you're seeing me right now i it's how i send it to the client just on a computer like that yeah so i'll do so normally like i'll put on like a polo or a dress shirt or something like that okay. and then i'll do um I, I told you you're the one that did you message me about the thing i was using for the email videos no i don't think that was me okay so there's vidyard go or wistia i think wistia is one of the better ones if I was to do it over again, where am I getting started? Video R go? Video yard. Vidyard. Sorry, Vidyard. Vidyard. Yeah. So there's a paid version, which is super expensive. And then there's oh, a free shit. version that I use. Um, so normally what I'll do is let me see. I'll pull up this again. I know it's someone that does that uses Wistia, and I think they make it look a little bit like smoother, I would say. Like you get like a screen grab, but then it'll kind of like zoom in and zoom out it's like very clean transitions on it oh, okay. um i might be switching over to that i just don't feel like learning new shit right now so <laughs> okay so this is like oh uh, let's say i want to write an email to somebody i'll go down here to insert vidyard videos oh it gives you a little plugin yeah a little plugin lower widget and here's all my different recordings right so here's one that i think somebody that, like filled out a form on my website can you hear? Uh, not really. Did you play it? No, I can't hear it now. Pretty much, I'll just do like quick reply emails like this to them, or I'll do something. Let me go back to Editor Vidyard. So one of my favorites is like, um, do I have it on here? Or did I delete it? Oh, so right here. Like I'll use this thing and I'll put their name on the person that I want to get like hold of. And I'll be like, I'll be like, yo, hey Nikki. So like that when they get the thumbnail, their name is um on there. Yeah, right on there. So they're like, yo, and I'll be like, yo, be like, hey Nikki, made you made you a quick little video, check it out. Nice, nice. Try to try to get their attention. It's just like just like shoot a video. Dude, shit. All you gotta do is just send out a quarter of an inch versus a competition that's uh, that's really all, all it comes down to it yeah i mean i mean do you do a day basically to be honest with you right now i do zero i am uh so backed up with 
projects and stuff like that. Like I'm booked out through the end of September right now. So right now I'm not even taking yeah. on projects. That's cool, man. When, Pro- go. Uh, when it was slow, how many did you used to do a day? Like when you needed it. Or- when I needed it. Um, yeah. So I wasn't exactly doing this just yet, but I'll probably do like anywhere between three to 10 a day. A lot of my time when I started out and still to this day, like my best clients I've got have came from doing SEO. So I th- it's, and it's a mixture, right? I think you need you need SEO optimization yep. and then you need a little bit of, of sales along with that. But it's also like if you find hot clients or clients that are spending money advertising, like those are the kind of videos, those are the kind of people that I would go after to find out like, like, yo, like I see you guys are spending money doing ads. So what's your thoughts on the video? And then like, connect with them um the guy joey the, the kid that i coach what he does is he will uh he spent like the 50 dollars a month for the linkedin uh pro version which allows you to find like right now he's only going after marketing directors so he's he like he's in a very remote part of alaska not that remote but it's alaska so i don't know how, how it is over there but he pretty much has linkedin finder okay. all the marketing directors on there and then when he finds the right people he would then go connect with them on LinkedIn and then he'll get their email and send them a video. And he'd be like, he'd be like, Hey John, happy we got to connect on LinkedIn. Um, you know, as you might've seen, I do uh, video production, helping with businesses. I just took a look over your website. I love what you guys are doing here. And he was pretty much using like video art or Wistia showing them the website. And he's like, Hey, you know, I worked with another business very similar to yours. Here's what their website looks like with video. This is what they're doing. I'll let's find out if this is something that you consider doing or maybe something that you would like to do in the future. Okay. I'll talk, I'll talk to you soon. So then when they don't, when you don't hear back from them, that's when you do the phone call to the office and, you know, you call the office and they're like, Hey, I'm looking to John, talk to John. And they're like, Oh, what is this about? It's this email that I sent him last week. I'm just following up. Yeah. That's what I was going to ask now. Um, how do you follow up and when do you follow up when you get no reply or, um, so if, I highly recommend that you that you use some type of email tracking. The good thing about using Vidyard is uh, Vidyard will give you a notification of when the person's watching that video, like what's the percentage, and then also tells you if they watched it on their cell phone or their uh, computer. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. So and then, um, knowing so that, that, you know if they watched the video 100% or also tell you like, hey, they watched this video three or four times. So when I get the notification on the second mm-hmm. or third time that they're watching that video, I'd be like, yo, John, what's going on, brother? Just checking in. Oh, just watching your video. Oh, no shit, really. What's going on, man? <laughs> you got questions? What's happening? No, no. How do you close them? Or do you close them over email or do you go in person? How do you how do you transition from okay, um, I'm interested? Well, phone call? Yeah, or... phone call, dude. I mean, a lot of the things, honestly, there's nothing happening. I've not closed a, a single deal in person in over two years now. It's everything's over the phone or you know, yeah, just talking to I them, want. just do a Zoom call. Because, I mean, what, what is it that you need to see me face-to-face for? Like, I'll go into practice before a shoot so I can scope it out, like, to see what it looks like. But for me to send you paperwork or for, like, I don't need to come to your office. Like, what's the point of that? So it's just the biggest thing you need to know is, like, hey, it's going to be $3,000. Is that in your budget? Yes, cool. Oh, I'm going to send you a quick email. Uh, just going over what we discussed. So we're on the same page. Yep, 3000 is great. Here's a link for your invoice and a deposit. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Like thousand dollars wasn't. What do you mean? Like if, what if three thousand dollars wasn't in the budget? You just continue to push. So what's your budget, John? Okay. I'm asking you, what is it? Um two thousand. Two thousand? All right. So two thousand is a little bit less than what we normally charge for something like this. If we change the scope of the project a little bit, I could do two thousand dollars. Would that work with you? Like, and then you kind of just like you say, okay, but we're gonna do one less video, or you know what I mean? And okay. it's, not, it's not a two minute video anymore. Now it's a one minute video. Well, you know what I mean? Gotcha. So like, so, if they're not gonna agree to your price, you don't need you don't need to agree to the terms. Now this gotcha. normally works very well for you if you have some money saved up and you don't need the next gig, right? So like having building that three month runway. It's what allows you to make, you know, those calls. Because here's the thing, like, you know, you're trying to work with somebody that doesn't want to pay you as much as, like, you need that money. 
that person is stopping you from actually working with somebody that wants to spend that money. Like right now, the client that I'm traveling for, I'm literally doing less work and getting paid more by like just a totally different client. Cause like now th this is like a, um, like a stock exchange company, but like their minimum videos that we're doing with them are like $5,000. And these are not like, these are literally like literally a freaking talking head in front of a wall. Like, with maybe some Five slides <laughs> yeah i mean they so when i flew to new york last week it was we we filmed for two hours they paid me my full day rate just because i was like if you're flying me to new york i can't work anything else if i work one hour three hours or five hours it's going to be my full day rate and they're like all right cool then i also charge them traveling half day for traveling days and then they pay all accommodations which I, use my, which I use my credit card for, which then yeah. I get points on, which allows me to do more travel shit when I want to travel. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. That's pretty sick, man. Um, let's see. I think that's all the questions I have as far as the email. Do you, you have a bunch of questions, though. Uh, yeah, um, Rodrigo. I just wanted to know if you use an agenda book or a planner. And if so, then which one would be best for us? Uh, right now, I think the best thing for the both of you guys to be on the same one would be to use something like Monday or Trello. That's a website? Yeah, I'll show you what we have. Uh, I think I've seen Monday, but I've seen it get promoted. Monday's a little, ex it's a little expensive, but like for, um, like for me, because before we use Trello, and I think Trello is free, which is good. I'll show you both. Um, Trello, come on, boy. I started with Trello, but it got to a point that like projects start like for you guys starting out. I mean, I don't know where you're at. Um, I think it works. Like in pretty much what I did here was prospects. All my prospects were here. Um, contracts, planning script, and pretty much had it like, what are my steps? Right. So like I have prospects, contracts, planning, scripting, shooting, editing, revisions, payment. Those are all the things that you needed to know. And then you could just move them, you know, to the next quadrant, whatever. You know, oh, you can, oh, I see, I see. Oh. So, so this is the one that I first started on. Now, pretty much these are all the projects that are like on hold or lost. And also this is something else that I, I track, right? I want to know like, what are the budgets? Like this one's going to be awesome. It's going to be $23,000, but we didn't close <laughs> it. <laughs> but, you know, I'll have the person's name, the client, who my contact is, I have notes on the project, like all their contact information on here. So if I need to reach out, or like if I need to reach out or my sister needs to reach out, they know how to get a hold of them. I, every time I talk to a client, I'll put like the date on here. Like to here, they're like, hey, you know, the angels, the Los Angeles angel, angels did not want to let them use their trucks for the thing. That was like the whole reason they want to do the video. So they backed out of the project. And I, I just, see. You know what I mean? So like, I just want to make sure that when these things come up again, or maybe a year from now, this comes up and they're like, yo, I want to work with you again. I have all these notes. I know when they requested a project, you know, how much it was and all of that. The Google calendar to like plan out stuff on there too, like send out invites. Like every time we have a shoot, I send out a Google invite to the client. So the client knows like the Google invite has like my contact information, where the shoot's going to be at, what time it ends, what time it starts. Um, I want to, I want to reinsure the clients that we're on top of it. Okay. And that's through Monday? Yeah. No, that's just Google calendars. Oh, Google calendars. Yeah, that's that's free. Okay. So like if you're not using that, I highly recommend like what are you guys using for email and all of that? You're that's not using email. anything? Yeah, no. dude. So spend it yeah, there's two of you. Spend it ten dollars a month. Get emails. It's five dollars each or six. Maybe they raise it up to six bucks a month. But get your you know custom domain with your emails on it and start using Google exactly. as the thing that you use to send out the emails for all your clients. And then you have a bunch of features like the Google storage. Like there's a lot of different things, the benefits of using Google. Uh, the next one will be for that $4,000 since we're trying to hit every client with that. Do we explain we do the drone shots? You know, we do. So. I didn't even talk about it, bro. Tell them, Rigo. Tell my, them, clients, Rigo. my clients don't know what camera I'm showing up with. Or like <laughs> some clients will ask you, like, yo, I want to get a drone shot of something cool. Like if it makes sense. But I'm telling you, if you're talking to a business owner, they're, if you told me like, yo, I'm going to give you $4,000. My phone's going to ring 10 times this month. I'd be like, bet, let's fucking do it. Because I mean, as a bit, but then that's when you have the conversation, right? Okay. So what's a client worth to you? 
well, my average client right now is worth $500. Okay, great. So then you do the math, take out your calculator, whatever it might be. So how many clients does he need to make back his $4,000? Because that's what you guys got to look at. Because that, that's, okay. that's when you talk to a client like that about numbers, that's what makes sense. Like the reason I don't work with like restaurants and pizza shops and those things is like, you know how many plates of food they need to sell to make back that $4,000? It doesn't make sense. Now you go to like a flooring company, an AC company, somebody watches that video, a new AC is over $2,000. Be like, yo, so you tell me that two people see this video this month and you get two new clients, you made your money back. On top of that, we're getting all this analytics, finding out more about who your potential next client is. Now, on top of the video, I also have data to present to you so we can start helping better marketing decisions. Start talking to them as a business owner. Like the video production is only a tool for you making that bag. Gotcha. Okay. That makes gotcha. sense. Talk numbers. Talk like a business owner and just... Dude, my first two years, I shot at a Nikon D7100, yeah. no autofocus, yeah. like nothing. Like <laughs> nothing. Life, none of that. <laughs> soon should we offer some free like like quick drone shots for some businesses that we potentially have like a lot of other businesses looking at them like you know what i mean like just so we can get our foot in the door for some of the clients you think that'd be a good idea or so you want to get your foot in the door with the new clients you're gonna get your foot in the door with the old new, clients new clients new clients well, both because we have old clients too that one yeah, it mainly be new bro to be honest because yeah. like, yeah. I mean, did you try talking to them? Like for you to do the freebie, I'm not against, but I think it needs to have a strategic and, plan behind it, right? For you to be like, right. hey, let me come out and shoot you guys some free drone footage so we can potentially work together. Not a smart way to allocate your time. Now, if you go back to your old client, be like, yo, John, I see you guys are doing these awesome new houses with your landscaping. Listen, I'm trying to get some new clients. And I was wondering if you could work something out. If I came out and did like some like cool drone footage and maybe did some photos from you, do you think I can get a testimonial video from you that I could use? And then could you refer me to like two or three other business owners that might use our services? Gotcha. That's the kind of free video that I would do. But for you to go out and just in the hopes of like, hey, let me come out and shoot your free video. Because here's the thing, we do the free video to someone without a purpose. The video doesn't work for them of like they post it up and nothing happens they're gonna be like i did i tried video video didn't work and we both know that that's not true it's like you tried like you put minimum effort into yeah, something and you're expecting video. like that this is going to be the one that puts you on the map it's not going to happen it just doesn't work like that so gotcha. i just wouldn't do it that way gotcha okay uh, do you think it's a good idea like maybe um because we we're thinking there was um, a couple thoughts uh like hosting an event for business owners that we know already so yeah. they can like, network together and then pretty much yeah all, everyone's just talking like everyone benefits off of it yeah do you idea. do a raffle like um there's another business i work with down here that, that does that they'll do like uh, a happy hour and then they're like hey we're gonna give out you know a four thousand dollar video package this month put in your um uh, you know your business card or fill out this form so now you're now everyone that filled out, they're showing interest in video, right? So you give it to one person, document the whole process, like literally make a mini series mm -hmm. about shooting that video for that person and then hit up everyone else. Like, hey, sorry, you didn't win. Just wanted to show you this is what that person that won. This is what the video looks like. This is what we did for them. If you're interested, fill out the form below. Let us help video grow your business. Right now we're working on an ad for that. Um, for a free for some free work and then we're going to have a landing page with the contact information where they mm -hmm. fill it out and this and one of the questions is what's your budget you know for mm -hmm. a video if you want to do it and then when when would you want to do it you know two weeks from now a month from now and then the last, the last amount of questions you ask in your form the better the more the more right the less the less, less. Shit, all right. Less. Big so company name. And there there's different schools of thought on this right because if someone's very interested, like, here's the thing. If you have a lot of things to fill out, the people that are not interested are not going to fill out the form. The other thought for me is like, I'm busy. I'm just trying to get a hold of somebody. Like, like today I'm, I'm trying to find a new meal plan company for like, so I don't have to cook anymore. Like I want to bring back my time. 
Okay. I want to look at your menu. Fill out this form first. Fuck you. I'm literally going to get off. I'm going to go to the next website. Oh, I can see the meal plan. No, nope. fuck you. I'm going to go to the next. Oh, you have meal plan. <laughs> Perfect. I just bought from like, gotcha. so there's a creating that kind of friction between them getting access to you. I'm not a big fan of. So like having certain questions, like I just think, Hey, what's your first name, your phone number, your email address. Uh, what's your budget on the project? Yeah. Just, I was thinking company name. Email but here's the thing they give you they give you their email you don't need a company name it's going to be on there oh on, on the company name yeah because oh, if you ask for the oh email gosh. so like yeah. you know the email has it so and maybe you get one or two that they use a gmail which then i get sketched out i'm like if you're calling me for someone is emailing you from their gmail for a video they're probably not the kind of client they're going to pay you four thousand dollars a month exactly so it's just like you know get a little smart with it get their email business email is going to have their website you know who the company name is you don't need that first name email phone number what's your budget cool uh for contracts uh we're thinking to do like uh, instead of just one video we're trying to like be consistent with the the business owners so we're thinking maybe three months and then how would we go with the contracts about that i would say like we could we could renegotiate a contract right if those three months still go good mm -hmm. we just rene renegotiate and go up more which is the plan for it that's the plans with the four thousand for me at least mm -hmm. get 10 of them i'm sure only three of them are going to want to renegotiate and then just get it from there what's your average project size right now average is a thousand so that's you, the average right now so you want a 4x what are you doing right now uh well it's more work so, but yeah, basically, yeah, 4X. I so, want what, 4X. what do you get for $1,000 right now? Just a video, man. That's Just one video? Yeah, one minute, one, one minute video. I would try, like, I think a really easy sell for you guys to get your foot through the door, people, sell a $1,500 package. Okay. Hey, $1,000, you come in, we'll shoot you, you know, say, like, here's what you get. $1,500, bucks. we will give you a 30-second video ad and a six-second video ad. Okay. And then after that, it's a thousand dollars a month for us to run and manage it for you. No more, you don't even do, you don't do more videos. The videos are done. The first time. Yep. You know, that's the first time. And then even you could say like other people I know down here, they'll do like, uh, we'll call it a, like, Hey, we'll give you the video for free and they're charging. We're gonna, the $1,500 is a setup fee and your ad spend for the month. Well, however you want to look at how, however it works best for you is how I would word it. But like, I work with so many businesses that run TV commercials and I'm like, you guys are fucking idiots. Like yeah, you're spending $4,000 a month to get 700 views locally. I'm like, you're stupid, but they want to be on television. Right. Versus like, if you spend $4,000 a month on Facebook ads, like the amount of business that you do is ridiculous, but some people will still want to do TV. So but the, pretty much my point is, is, the one video, that 30 second commercial that they run for like three or four months, like they don't care about production anymore, right? So like, as long as you got that first video that looks good and you're able to repurpose that content, just charge them a monthly retainer. Okay. $1,000 a month, we keep running your ads for you. Okay. And it's $500 is our management fee and $500 is okay. our, um, you know, or your ad spend. That, that seems really doable. Um, and it's a small ask, right? And the thing is, like, for yeah. you to go in and do the whole four thousand thing, and I don't want to discourage you from doing it. I want no, you guys to achieve that. It's such a big gap. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's actually from selling a thousand dollar video to a four thousand dollar package. It's a huge gap. Minimize those gaps so the steps are a little bit easier for you to to get through them. Okay. Yeah, we'll try that out, man. For sure. I like that. Any more questions? I mean, 1500 bucks. I think it's a, like any business owner that doesn't have $1,500 to do, like, I'll spend 1500 bucks right now to do that for my business. You exactly. Know I mean? And you know, that's one thing that's been um, in my head since you said that. Like, anyone who doesn't have a thousand to spend, like, they're uh, like, if you can't spend a thousand, like, you know, why even work with you? Like, yeah, be like, I have a thousand dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't even make that much. Like, yeah, be like, if you're not willing to invest, like, I can recommend you somebody else. I just, you know, there's not, and Chris always says this, they're like, oh, there's not a thousand dollar business problem. It's not a big problem to solve. Mm. So what are the big business problems that you guys are trying to solve? And then he'd be like, man, he's like, well, like I can't get people right now. I'm trying to get more workers. 
okay, so have you done a recruitment video before? Well, maybe let's do a day, like, you know, start asking them the deeper questions about what their business problems are and then start figuring out how can video play out and helping them solve those problems. But for a thousand dollars, there's not a lot of business problems that you can solve. I agree. You better fix your, your water with that. <laughs> yeah, man. Like go, go, go freaking do the, an employee appreciation day. Like take out your fucking employees for the day and drop a thousand dollars on them. Probably going to have better results next quarter than that. But yeah. you know, for you to just come out and like, I want a cool video of like, we don't do cool videos. Like we help businesses get results. You know, if you want a cool video, I, I know somebody that could do it for like 500 bucks, but that's not us. <laughs> cool, man. Do you have any more questions? Um, sure. really. um Just, I'll, sorry. Uh, for the contracts, how do you set it up? Like the format of just like, okay, three months and well, yours is probably different than what we should be, but is there like a, a solid like base that everyone can use them? like anyone can use um i don't know if there's a solid base but it really comes down to you guys outlining and being very clear in your contract that um that this is gonna be a three-month thing me personally when i do these kind of things i don't put a client in a three-month contract because the thing is I'll, i'll tell them like listen i'm gonna do i'm gonna give you my best i want you to keep working with me it normally takes three months for people to really start seeing results. So I'm going to be honest with you. You're so when we talked about the $1,500 plus a thousand dollars a month, your, your real investment here is $3,500 for the next three months. Can you commit to that? We will tell you, no, be like, listen, that's great. You know, I just don't think that we can help you then because like normally it does take time because the first month is we doing strategy, testing out things, Second month is we're refining everything that we're doing. And the third month, that's when the results start coming in. That's literally so, how we word it too. Yeah. Literally just like that. Because so that's, like, that's how it is. That's how, yeah, it is. That's how it is. But you have to let them know that because people like, and I've done this and be like, you know, and I'll tell them this and be like, hey, it's been a week. I'm like, dude, like we're still editing your video. Like what the fuck? Um, Storyboard is not even sent yet. Like, <laughs> yeah. So like, um, so with that, I'll, I'll figure that out. But it's when I tell them like, if you want to leave, then you can leave. Like I don't hold my clients to those kind of contracts, but because like I don't want to be the same thing for me. Like I don't want to be in a like I'm on a two year contract with T-Mobile, and I fucking hate it. Like if I wanted to leave, I can't. Like so, like I want to be that person you work with. Like I don't want to put pressure on you. Like I I know that every client that comes to me, I want to help you to my fullest potential. If you want to leave to try to work with somebody else, please go do it. Let me know how it is. If they can out deliver what I'm doing, then I, I'm really happy for you. I just don't know anyone else that does that. That's why my clients have been with me for over four years. Nice, nice. Wow. So, I mean, there are benefits of putting them in a contract, but it's one of those things that, you know, I just personally wouldn't want to be in a contract. It so. can suck because some of these clients, because one month in, we could realize, damn, like, we're really wasting our time here. Like we could be making another 5k over here, you know, exactly. It's cost, you know, and that, you know, that's what I'm afraid of. I feel, Cause I signed one guy up for three months. And as soon as the, as soon as we signed it, I'm like, fuck, like we could be making way more dude. Like, or the client, you know, like you said, the client sucks. First month then clients calling you every single fucking day. And you're like, yo, we got, we are signing to the contract with this yeah. guy for two more months. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So now you're fucked versus yeah. like we had somebody else that we're working with in like a month in. I was like, hey, listen, this is not going to work out. Like our communication style is very different. Like I've tried to get these things done and it's just not working out. It seems like your priority is somewhere else. Um, mm-hmm. If you guys want to pick it back up, you know, whenever this is something that it's top of priority for you, I'd love to help you. But just right now, this is just not going to uh, work. Mm-hmm. And you're still being respectful, you know. You're not gonna. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to burn bridges. I'll tell you that. Yeah. You don't want to burn bridges. Uh huh. I've, I've, that's one thing I do not do, man. Be be the bigger person, even when they're wrong. You know what I mean? Like, I've I've held my tongue. I'll be the bigger <laughs> person. I got I got nothing else to lose. I don't have a fucking ego. I have <laughs> I have an ego, but like to the point of like, you know, I'm not not worth not worth losing sleep over it. Um. SoCal, do you think SoCal is a good area to hit for a business we're in? Um, we don't know really much any, we don't really know other video production businesses out here um, that are doing like super big. Mm-hmm. I mean, is it a good area? Do you think so? I don't know your area. No, oh, I thought you, I thought you come out here a lot. I, I mean, I go to, I go to LA a lot, but not SoCal, but I honestly mm-hmm. like, 
it, it comes down to like if you guys found a niche like i don't know what is within your area that you can become very hyper niched in i believe it's construction man that's probably like it's a construction is a great one like i'll start like find one construction business that you could work with because like a construction company could pay you five thousand dollars a month for bringing in one lead because like all comes down like what is one construction client worth to you do like fifty thousand dollars let's spend five thousand dollars a month let me create some dope ass videos some bangers yeah and then the other way something else so you've done be like sign up for three months it's gonna be fifteen thousand dollars after that, if you don't see any results, I'll keep doing the work for you for free until you make that money back. I like that. That's how confident I am in what we do here at Tasco Studios. I like that. So if we have, let's say, for example, we have a customer that we did it for a thousand, mm -hmm. like the main guy that we were thinking about, main person business. Um, now we want to bump it up or we keep it still at 115. Oh, it's not too late with him. Okay. It's, it's never too late. It's never too late. I, I, one of my clients, I, I had him for three years and I was telling myself the same thing. I'm like, I can't raise my rates. I can't raise my rates. Finally talk, I had a talk with him, just raising my rates on him. Our revenue this year grew by 30% from the same account, doing the exact same work. Only thing is the relationship with this guy is only like what a week, a week with him. Okay, two that's weeks. that's pretty that's pretty early relationship. I would, yeah, yeah, that's why I said yeah. oh, too late. That's just yeah. he, he's really he's well connected. So I don't mind doing the work, you know. He he has tons of people that he knows. So maybe he'll pay off in the back end, you know. What's and he's pretty patient. He's yeah. pretty patient too. Yeah, you know, I think three to six months, depending on the work, and it all comes down to like, hey, whatever his name is. You know, the work we're doing for you has been great, but it's starting to be more of what, uh, you know, we anticipated. I'll let you know that we're going to have to raise our rates from you. We're going to keep you the same rates for the next month. But I'm just letting you know that if, you know, this is something that you need to find somebody else for. I just need to let you know for us to do what we do for you the right way. I'm going to have to raise my rates on you. And I hate to see you go, but it's not fair to my team or to us for us to, you know, something along those lines. Gotcha. To just put up with that, you know? That's yeah. Something. That's what it is. Just putting up with it, you know? Like, fuck. Like, I mean, where you want to put up, you don't want those clients. Like, you don't want to have the clients you have to put up with. You want to get rid of those clients. The sooner you get rid of those clients you have to put up with, the more money you start making. I, I, I'm blessed because most of our clients, dude, they're so down to earth and they're young. They're like in their 30s. Perfect. They're like, they understand the whole process. They understand this ain't easy. So, I mean, I've been really blessed with, with those clients. Yeah, it's that's just, what that book was telling me today, too. Just like find the people that operate the same speed as you. Yeah. So it, it's it's like, going to allow you. Yeah. It's going to help you go a lot faster. One of our biggest problems was when um we would so we would do a video for a client, right? Mm -hmm. Boom, we do a great job. We do the ads. We bring them hella work. And they're booked up for fucking four months. And they don't need us no more, you know? Or, or um, you know, they're in the business. You know what I mean? So if we bring them work, they're busy. So now they don't need us. And it's mm -hmm. like, damn, we got to find those medium-sized companies. How do you how do you tell? Like, how do you differentiate, like, those small ones versus the big ones? Like, Well, I, here's the thing. It's all a cycle, right? So like when you are, so you you already know this right now. So you already said three to four months, a client's going to fade out because they won't necessarily need you anymore. Mm. Within those three to four months, you need to be prospecting to find a very similar client. So when I'm getting the results for that client in the first and second month, I'm creating some sort of case study or I'm reaching out to somebody very similar to him in his industry and be like, yo, we're fucking crushing over here for JC Constructions. We just booked them 20 new projects. They're booked up for the rest of the year. Mm, they don't need this, us anymore. <laughs> they don't say that, you know, but you, no, you yeah, because then you're like, why do they don't need you anymore? Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, then I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. You're like, <laughs> is this something that you guys would be interested in? And we're like, what, what can we do to help you bring you some more leads? Because then that cycle, like, so then as they're fading off, mm. the new client's coming in. So yeah. you need to know what's your client's life cycle. Um, okay. So, but here's the other, other thing. So maybe that client's busy. You no longer need video ads, but now what kind of other video content can you make for them mm -hmm. at a lower engagement cost that could help them? Maybe they could do frequently asked questions on their page. Hey, John, how long does construction take? All normal projects. You know what I mean? Going over to frequently asked questions. Like, Yo, John, I know you guys are super freaking busy. Your phones are ringing all the time. What kind of questions are you guys answering all the time? What's the process before something starts? 
let's shoot a video explaining what the pre-construction process is for new homeowners so they know what to expect. Or maybe you're prospecting to talk to a new developer. Let's show them a little bit behind the scenes of what is it like to work here at your construction. So like start offering. So like just because the ads end, it doesn't mean you can't offer them another type of video service. And when you when you try to tell them, when you try to, um, it's not necessarily upsell, but when you try to introduce an idea like that, how do you go about it? Hey, um, let's do this, do this. I'm going to charge 600 for this. Or like, how would you go about it? Normally what I do, I see a cool video that I like for like mm -hmm. some, like another company, I'll send it to the client. Like, yo, I saw this, came across this. I thought of you. Have you guys done something like this before? What's your thoughts on this? It's no. like, oh, you know what I mean? Kind of. Um, it's more like, like we have our own client and three months are up. I say, hey, bro, um, let's do introductional videos. You know, people want to see who you are. Mm -hmm. um, let's do this, this, and this. Okay, let's do it. But it's going to be 600 bucks. You know, how do I introduce the price point? Like, like, I mean, you know let's, I mean? Or, how, I mean, I would just tell them and be like, hey, do you want to do this? And they're asking you how, like, this, we're doing something like this around this range. Is that something you guys want gotcha. to do? I mean, it's, it's talking about, just talking about money. It's no different than anything else. It'd be like, they'd be like, Hey, I want to know how much, how much is it? Um, so just introducing that cost to them. There's nothing, nothing, no, it's not a big deal. It'll make a big yeah. deal. Out of it. oh, but yeah. here's the thing. Don't wait for the third month when it's up. You got to have this conversation at month two, because as soon as you get to month three or like, I don't know, are you getting reviews on your business? Oh, us? Yeah. Yeah. We have like, 20 like good that. good good job huntington yeah i'm like focusing on the seo man like i'm, I'm putting 100 200 a month on my website and shit where's it huntington films Huntington films yeah it should be huntingtonfilms.com like the worst speller ever okay. okay 23 reviews victorville right yeah nice you got marketing on there smart all right we still got all the car photos yeah yeah we're still trying to upload um all the new recent videos, all the photos, everything. Hey, take down the car photos, the, right? Yeah, take down the lifestyle photos and the car photos. Start putting behind the scenes photos on here. Gotcha. Start showing them what your production looks like. Okay. Because like, if I came here and I saw like the car photos, I'm like, what are these guys like? Are they? Like, <laughs> what are you guys doing? You know what I mean? Like to me, it doesn't make sense. But now if I see a bunch of production stuff and you know maybe some frames of things you shot so they get an idea of what is it that you're producing. How gotcha. can you become you? Yeah, it's like my slogan. I don't I haven't really implemented it yet, but I plan to. I would change it a little bit because helping you become you, I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's like a lot of business owners want to have some sort of what's the word? They want to have want to see them a certain way online. Right. And, but they don't know how. So I'm helping them bring out themselves online, kind of. You, you don't seem sure about what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know the fucking word for it. That's why. But uh, what do you recommend? Um, Persona. That was the word. Persona. Yeah. So how do you think films? Like, I think you say something about we help tell your business story through video or but like for you it's like Huntington films we help generate leads through video okay gotcha. you know what i mean like to me it's like oh what like what is it you guys do we generate leads through video mm -hmm. fucking easy enough and then you have your intro that says like we're a video you know marketing agency in victorville I'm like okay now i get what you guys are doing i'll change your about us photo here you guys have on the website with the guy with the truck i'm not sure what that so to uh promote there the about us photo link. I haven't even looked at that fucking part. Yeah, of I'll do it. the wow. screen yeah. share. Yeah. Uh it out. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, you have this that's thing. Funny. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, that's that. cool. Yeah. Um, and maybe about us, I'll change it to who we are. Um, yeah. versus yeah. just a little bit different. Our Instagram Fashion. feed with all our recent work. I'll probably I'll take this, I'll move this down and have check out. Because this is what you want, right? This is what you want them to see. Like, okay. I don't think your Instagram as as is as important as this. That, to me, okay. if I came here, I want to see samples of your work, so I'd move that up. Gotcha. I agree. Uh, watch more videos. Perfect. Our gallery. I got. I don't. I don't. I do not like the gallery section. I just want to remove all that because I don't have any behind the scenes yet. 
Yeah, okay. I mean, I'll change it or also be like, do you need to like, do you need, you know, photos for your business? And then like now, so then this makes sense, like right? That. You know what I mean? So yeah, like, yeah. what is the business, per like everything you should be doing in your website? Like what is the business purpose of a business owner getting here? So now I'm like, oh shit, I do video and they got photo. And then mm. I said, you worked with Toyota. I'm pretty yeah. sure everybody knows this Toyota dealership is where you're yeah. at. Yeah, you know they know. Exactly. So I'm like, okay, so now these guys done photo for Toyota. They're doing video work here. Like, okay, that makes sense. Um, I'll move about us closer to contact. So it's going to be home videos, frequently asked questions Cute. about us, then contact. I, you get a, I'll send you the recording of this. So Okay, oh, please. Thank yeah, you, bro. We're recording on the phone. Shit. We can't uh, yeah, um, Huntington. I don't know what you're using to build a website, but I'll try to see if you could do some type of like how you have it bold here, book now. Like, see if you could do some type of blue around this. Then you have two very clear call to actions on what you want people oh, like to a border uh, around it. I see. Yeah, like at your book now, there's a blue border around it. Do a uh, blue border around contact because that's what you want them to do. So you get a contact. Gotcha. Contact us, get in touch. Number, my address, Perfect. email. I, check, I know I got to change that email. That's, it doesn't look as professional as this. Uh, and start, take away the zero to 300. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. It looks ridiculous. I don't do anything under 300. I mean, I don't really touch anything under 750 anymore. So start to, to do that is your, your base. Yeah. Right. I'll do 750. Then I'll do like, you know, 1,000 to 2,500. Okay. Honestly, you should just start at a thousand, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Do anything I would say if you can make this banner smaller because it's, I don't know if it's because of my screen, it's just because it's like, I want to contact you. Yeah. There's all that space before I get like, this is what I want to get to. Right. Gotcha. So right now I have to go through all of that. Um, homepage. Gotcha. I mean, this thing was this size way better than the other one I had. Do you remember it? Yeah. It was fucking trash, dude. <laughs> um, I'll put your contact. I know you have it down here. Yeah. But I'll put your, your phone number here as well. Or like something like call us now, like where I can like literally click through this and give you a call. Okay. So I don't know if this is, yeah, I'd figure out if you could figure a way out to hyperlink this when somebody like clicks on it. Right away. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, about us. It's not even me. Oh, good. Call us today. I got literally have same thing. I'll put your phone number down here with your contact information, and like, or at least have, or create a button that says like book us or contact us. Now, like you, do, you want to have a call to action on every single page. Okay. Okay. For sure. Watch more. Um. Or these cust I you should do custom thumbnail images for all of your videos. Okay. Yeah, that's all it work. For sure, man. Here's a buddy of mine. Let me see what his website's like right now. DNC Media. So pretty much look at him. We help brands and destinations get more customers online with video marketing. Very clear to what you have no, you know exactly what they do. Helping brands and destinations get more customers all of you. Okay. So like they specialize on travel content. Um, need to market your brand. There's nothing more powerful than video. Use a proven system. Wow. Generate new leads and turn them into raving fans. You know what I mean? Like they're very clear. Like who did they service travel and tourism companies, right? It's very clear on who they work with. I think mm -hmm. this is what you guys like, you know, look at their website and like, look at what can you do? How can you replicate this website right now for construction businesses? That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, how can we cater to that to focus in on it? Cause I think that's probably going to be our niche. Mm -hmm. Um, because I, I, it took me a long time to figure out what the niche was, but I feel like construction is going to be it. It's, it's a great one, man. Construction is yeah. not going anywhere, right? So then you could pull um, like construction, landscaping. I don't know what other type of construction thing there is. Pool building. It's pool you know building. I mean? Yeah. Pool. It's like, you know, now you know. And now are you an expert? So, like, literally just come out here, look at what they're doing. And um, I'm really big on just, you know, 
not reinventing the wheel. But look at that. Like, there's no, you know, no menu here. Come and watch our videos. Asia. And this, my, this, my, this, my boy is booked. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> all the fucking time. Like, he is out and about. Like, if you think I travel, like, this guy fucking puts me under the dust. So you contact <laughs> us. What happens? So he has a long form, oh. but he, what he does is, um, <laughs> Like his packages right now, or like uh, they're like thirty thousand dollars plus, but they'll come in and they'll shoot like ten videos for you. Right. Really? They'll do ten videos and uh, they'll run all your ads and stuff for you. Like he doesn't like if you wanted to like, hey, I'm a dentist, I just want to shoot a video, I don't want you to do ads. He's like, we don't work with you. And that's the level that I, we're trying to be at, man. Um, we don't but really want to do baby steps. Baby steps, exactly. I mean, yeah. how long has he been doing it for? How long has he? He's been, been doing it for a while, like at least at least four to five years as well. But like, like doing it, doing it. He was doing what you know, like he's recently niched down to doing this. He wasn't always doing this, but the, he took the Paul Xavier course last year, mm-hmm. and uh, this is what he pretty much got a lot of it from him. And if uh, if we end up niching down to construction, I might just end up changing the name also, or or splitting off and doing to really because I know the name can't be that enticing to construction. Yeah, I uh, I mean I'd look at you know think of a way that you can. Uh, are you doing this? Are you, you're in Squarespace? That's good. Yeah, if you have an, a way that you're able to you know incorporate construction videos into your name, great. You know right. what I mean. Okay. But even if it doesn't. If you already spent the time on your website to write your ranking, maybe like versus changing a name, maybe change the logo so there is type of like construction on there. It's like don't because like if you're already doing SEO and you're already getting ranked for you to like change the name and do all of that, it might not be worth it versus like just changing the, the logo on it. It's still relatively new, so I, I believe I can afford to, but I'll, I'll keep that in mind. That's a great, that's a great idea. Maybe just yeah. change the logo. Um, because you know, I feel like it's my baby still, you know, so it's gonna be hard for me to yeah. change. Uh, is there any way to that you are able to see through our Instagram right now? Uh, our Instagram page. Yeah, so we just posted oh, yeah, up the yeah. recent video. I just wanted to get your opinion on how we can capitalize on that recent video we posted, or if there's even a way to. I'm sure. I'm sure it's a way to sell that easily. <laughs> Is he in the victim motors? Mm-hmm. No, that's a Honda. Mm-hmm. Is there audio? Oh, that's your yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So this is the video you're talking about, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the little drone one. Okay. So what's your goal with this video? Uh well, just to kind of showcase the um how creative we can be and how we're trying to be innovative instead of just like okay we're just shooting your building and it's just kind of more like that's how we can um show the website also with well just for that idea was just to add something in there like uh i can't it's kind of like a creative like just trying to you know what's the point of it trying to yeah it was just more of a project but i feel like there's something that we can capitalize off of that you don't have to know (sighs) I'm sure there are ways to capitalize off that, but I I guess it just comes down to like me as a business owner, I'm trying to think of like how, how it's like, so the way I could capitalize off that is if you are trying to get to show somebody like, where's your business located, being able to show your logo above them. I think that's a way that, you know, you could focus on that, but watching the video and the drone coming up and I see all the different logos, I wasn't really sure what was going to happen at first or what the video was about. It wasn't very clear to me of like, but then when you click on the dealership um, and then, you know, you went to the website, I was like, okay, that was, that was cool. Um, like I said, just with their, all the other logos, cause it was like, it was a lot of different companies. Like one was a dealership, one was like Sonics or something like that. So yeah. They're all right there. It was just <laughs> yeah. more like a project where it just showcased like all of them. Mm-hmm. But I know when we normally just do one business, we just only put their, like their logo, like a 3D logo above their business. Yeah, that yeah, was just so, like a side project. Yeah, so I mean, I'll do a video similar to that, and but like show like show the business and then do their logo. It'd be like, do clients have a hard time finding you? Show them a video of like, hey, here's where we can show where you're located. 
I mean, you do that. For that. I think that's it, man. I think that's all the questions we had um, as far as that. Um, yeah. How's everything for you? Good? Yeah, man. It's busy. <laughs> um, actually, I'm trying to finish a, a wedding video I shot before I left. So, um, you, you don't have editors that put all that together for you? or I do have an editor. He already started. The, he started, He pretty much went through all the cuts and like laid okay. everything out for me. Now I'm coming in and just refining everything. Gotcha. So, gotcha. Yeah. And you say you're booked up till September, you said? Oh, man. man, like what? what? I was in this run in February. What the fuck did I do to get out of this? Oh, exercise, bro. For me, that's if I'm in a rut right now. Like I'd be like, when's the last time I exercise? So now I've been trying to get more in a strict mm-hmm. exercise routine. But I think that's probably one thing that helps me a lot is if I'm like in a funk and I just can't work. Like even if I'm like going to go for a run or like if I go to the gym, like that makes me feel better. Mm. But going to the ocean for me like i like surfing so like whenever i'm able to go out and surf like that does a lot for me gotcha. hey, one, one more or another question what's the uh what's your goal with tasca studios do you plan on um kind of having it like build it up and then have someone run it while you go do something else or um i've thought about that um that might be a possibility i've honestly been considering getting into real estate um oh, but really? yeah and the other thing would be uh, to do YouTube like full time, but I've been slacking with that. But those hey, are you're, you're I, I have faith in your YouTube, man. I feel like you'd you'd be really good at that, man. Extremely good at I that. I just need I'm not consistent with it. And that's the biggest yeah. like between client projects and like fucking traveling for too much. It's like YouTube's kind of the back burner now. Yeah. Um but but like days like today, like I've all the client projects I've done, like sitting down on a call with you guys, like to me, I'd rather do this every single day than actually do all my other shit. So it's like the little motivations here and there to help me kind of get more like into the uh, realm of things. But I don't really have a uh, set long term plan for Tosca Studios. I love to get it to the point that like I don't have to shoot anything, but we'll see. I, I mean, think that's but, my goal with with Hunted Films. I do mm-hmm. plan on growing it like probably multi-million and then kind of leave it and just take 10% away mm-hmm. and then go do something else. I know I'm gonna get bored. This shit, this shit can get, this shit can, oh, it can get you, man. It can really eat you up, bro. So as That's you're, so as you're starting now, start creating like SOPs, systems and operations for everything. Okay. If that's your goal with like, cause my goal for Tasca Studios is not that. No. Okay. But I mean, yeah. I still, I still have like, you know, SOPs for everything that we do. But if that's your goal for it, start running. The, like, everything you guys do with, like, with how you shoot a video mm-hmm. needs to be a system. Like, exactly. everything, the next 10 video, videos you guys do need to be exactly the same system. Okay. So that way is how you create a business like that that you no longer need to be here for. Because you need to be like, hey, here's a guidebook. Do this exactly like this. Okay. But then cool. you no longer need to be there. Cool, man. Cool. Well, thank you, man, for, for stepping in with us, bro. I appreciate for sure, man. It. And, um, it's a pleasure meeting uh, you guys. Or you going to be a is there going to be a follow up call after this? Yeah. Or how's that um, yeah. I'll send you the when this is done uh, recording, or whatever. I'll upload a Dropbox and I'll send you the uh, link with the Dropbox and a link to do the follow up call. Okay. All right, man. Do you have any more questions for my boy? Uh, can you answer one more? Or you yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were just thinking about maybe doing a podcast to bring in like business owners to talk about like the review of with us and just kind of showcase their personality so they can want to share it to that's, their think that's a good idea yeah but do a podcast that's about them not about you guys yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Right. okay cool no, maybe talk about us a little bit but don't know. don't talk about you at all okay <laughs> all right because right. like the biggest thing with the podcast probably not a lot of people are gonna listen to the podcast but what the podcast allows you to do is be like hey we're interviewing the 10 best construction companies in Huntington mm. or whatever the town. I know you're not in Huntington, but like no. we, somebody mentioned your name. We'll love to have you come on the show and just talk about how did you grow your business? Okay. Like just make it about them. You know what I mean? So like, don't talk about you guys at all. If they want to do business with you, just know that the goal of it is that you're, it could be a lead generation for you. It gives you a reason to reach out to someone to be like, Hey, you know, versus like you guys trying to do the free video for somebody to possibly get you for the door, do, do, do a podcast. You know, and the good thing about podcasts is that no one knows your numbers. Okay. It's not like social media or YouTube that like you I have a million subscribers podcast. It's like no one fucking knows. 
Yeah. Gotcha. For you. All right. Thank you so much. That was, thank you, brother. All right, guys. Right. For sure. Have a good day, brother. All right, man. Peace. Peace. Peace.